Sometimes you only need a small mix of cement. Buying ready mixed cement is not a good idea because it does work out very expensive. So I'm not going to make a very small mix of cement. The important thing is when you measure it, that you measure it by volume and not by weight. So what I tend to do is serve containers like that. These are very handy, you can put paint in them, you can put thinners in them, and you can also use them for measuring out sand and cement for when you do need a small mix. This is the bucket that I'm going to be mixing in. You can see that I've already put three containers full of sand in there. And we've now got the one container full of cement. So I'm going to put the cement on top of the sand. There are a couple of ways of mixing this up. I'm going to use this gauging trowel. But what you can also do is get a container like that, which is an old protein container. Put the cement in there. Just simply give it a really good shake. Roll it around the floor. Whatever you've got to do. Shake it again. And then that will mix the two components together fully. If you're mixing it in a bucket, simply tip it on its side and just start to work the cement into the sand. It's a good idea to only mix as much as you can use because if you try and save it, even when it's mixed like that dry, the cement will still go off because of the moisture content in the sand. Once you've got a uniform colour like that, you can then start to add some water to the mix. So now we're going to add some cold, clean water to the mix. It's important when you add the water that you do not add too much at once. You can always add some more, but you can never take it out. And as you can see, we've got a nice, consistent mix of mortar there. So that's how to mix a small quantity of cement. I have shown how to mix cement before using a mixing board. You can, of course, use a cement mixer for larger jobs, but for smaller jobs, this is an ideal way of mixing up the cement.